All right, hello, this is Queen of Pentacles, Taylor 333, y'all. Let's read. All right, let's start with the cosmic tail. All right. Let's see what the collector need to know. And does the spirits let's see Holy Spirit? Let's see. Oh, okay. They want to sing, so let's keep let's go ahead and let's see what comes out. I don't know if that was supposed to come out or not, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it because the way it came out. They the source here. Somebody feeling stuck. They feeling like mm -hmm, lost. Okay, the nine of swords, eight of swords, eight, nine, something about a countdown then. Well, I feel like something could be new, like coming up for some of y'all. Let's see. I feel like somebody could be feeling kind of stuck here, trapped here. Lost, I ain't gonna lie, it's a dark cloud over these two people here. They walking around in circles in a puddle of water. Um, with the nine of swords energy. This could be somebody who's thinking about you a lot here because the princess of cups. Um, I see this person right here holding their head and they looking like they mm -hmm, trying to avoid something. They could be a little, they could be a little worried or something like that. Wow. I feel like for some people it's more than one person. Okay. They telling me that you're very spiritual and everything, and you could be thinking about like your spirituality here too. Okay, with the nine of swords, I feel like something could be on your mind. You could have like a lot on your mind. If it ain't on your mind, somebody here does have a lot on their mind. Here, Princess of Cups. Okay, it looks like you're looking at this person too. I see, see that you're looking at somebody, or somebody could be just looking at you. That's what's weird about it. Um, let's see what the collector need to know. Let's see, next card. What does the collector need to know? Dang, everything. Yeah, somebody got a lot on their mind then. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like they do. I got the five of cups right here. So someone here could be like feeling somebody's emotions and everything like that here. Yeah, and then I'm feeling like somebody could be, um, I see glasses. I am seeing glasses. Maybe this person wear glasses or need to get your eyes checked. What else? Okay. So I feel like at this time with the six of swords, yeah, you could be going at a distance or something like that or traveling. You could be thinking about your finances or your money or something like that. Let me see. You got like a new beginning starting for you, a new beginning coming to you. Okay. Um, I feel like it's like, like, a lot of stuff you probably got to do, but I see a lot of love around you here. A lot of cups. Okay, yeah, somebody could be in, out of their mind, <laughs> for real, like, for a cups. This person could be upset and everything like that. I feel like somebody need a spiritual bath. All right? You could have pulled away and um, got distant from somebody here. Oh, you could have went out of town. Maybe someone went out of town, took a trip. It looks like you're thinking about your money to me. I don't know. I cover her up. Oh my gosh, she ain't had no clothes on. Okay, so he don't either. Dang, nobody got no clothes on here. Let's keep going. Oh, the high priestess. I feel like it is time here. It's something about you thinking about. Well, I feel like you're using your intuition. Let me see. You're thinking about your money though, and your new beginning. After that came the Prince of Swords. So somebody is like paying a lot of attention to you. Somebody could be mad at you about something though. They got a lot on their mind. They feel stuck. They feel like they're in a bad place here. Um, you could be, yeah, somebody, you could be like caring for yourself, doing for yourself, taking care of you. Okay, this is self-love right here. So um, I feel like with the hyphen, I feel like, you know, I see somebody, yeah, I see somebody traveling. Yeah, let me look. I do. I see somebody traveling. Let me see. Ten of Cups. Well, um, I'm seeing two females and one man here. All right. 
All right? I feel like something could have been on your mind, though. Let me see. Or, so, or you could be on this person's mind. Look like you're on their mind because the way they're looking right here. With the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this person could be thinking about stability, home, house. Let me look. Or money. Let me see. Okay, yeah. This person can feel your energy too. This person connected to you in some kind of way. Let me see what it's about. The Three of Cups. I'm hearing dinner. I don't know why I'm hearing dinner. Okay. Let me look. I feel like the the um yeah the weather gonna change. I see that. Let me see. Eight of Swords again. That naked person again. Let me see. Queen of Cups. The Empress. Uh huh. That's the Empress. The World card. I'm here, Junior. I'm here, Michael. And I'm seeing the princess of pentacles here. Some kind of some kind of offer. Some kind of proposal, some kind of offer. Let me see. The seven of swords. The princess of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. New home, new house, new job, new business. Eight of swords and somebody feeling stuck. The way they looking though. Let me see. I see you. Um, all the thing I got is the Princess of Cups. Somebody comes off sweet, not a sword. They got a lot on their mind. The Princess of Cups, the Ten of Cups. This person loves you then. This person does love you, or you love them. Um, I'm here, Richard, Five of Cups. Somebody could be feeling some type of way, having some kind of um, regrets. Oh my God, that person naked too. Yep, there you go. The communication could be bad between two people. What's wrong with them? Somebody you could have called out. This person can't call somebody out. Here. You could be dealing with somebody who is uh, having a lot of talk. They could be talking to someone. Maybe even about you. Some could be about money. This person usually selfish and think about what they need. They come out fake, though. There's somebody fake right here. There's somebody fake right here, the three of ones. Yeah, somebody could be like, um, I'm not going to say trying to. Now, I know they gossiping. Look like a younger energy, younger female energy here, man or woman, and a younger male energy. Hold on. What is they talking about? Now I'm curious. Because I'm seeing a compulsive liar. Somebody could have lied to you. Something about the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody, okay, they, they, I see some kind of broken heart here. Okay, this person here to me can't be trusted. To me, this person here can't be trusted. Somebody feel like they're in a bad spot here. Some could have something to do with finances. Love. There's somebody who you could talk to, like, but if you have a conversation with this person right here, if I know that person could be argumental or whatever, this person right here can be kind of mean. I see you smiling, though. Yeah. I feel like this person right here is quiet. Not around you, but they gossip and they talk to somebody here. Okay, so it was a lot of love here. Now, a lot of love for this person. So, I see two people and everything like that. But somebody is like, somebody could come off like very spiritual here. I know that could be you, Five of Cups. Somebody um, going to regret something. Five of Pentacles. Maybe being fake to you. Yeah. I feel like at this time, this person could be thinking about finances or money. Let me see. Spirit, what do I need to know? Almost like, okay, this person wants to confront you. They see you strong and everything like that. You mind your business. You showing up as like a boss, something about control. The Queen of Swords. Who is this arguing? 
Somebody could be arguing. Yeah, they could be being picky, picky, arguing. And someone here, what are they talking about, though? Because, you know, the seven of swords here Maybe rules. Maybe somebody got a young person that ain't following their rules here, and this other person wanting to follow their rules. The communication could be bad between you and this person right here. Two, I do got a queen of cups here. This could come off like a mother figure. Two, a father figure, mother figure, but I say a mother figure. Especially with the empress sitting here, and they say that you know it. You could be thinking about money. This could be somebody who you support. This is support, yeah. Or it's good to, or help. This person here could like a lot of attention too, like things they weigh, like a lot of attention. Five of Cups, you know, whine and complain when they don't get their way, make people look bad, be lying. Be lying though. You know, they can make people look bad, you know, be lying about certain things. Maybe somebody got like a bad daughter or a bad son. You know, this person can make people feel guilty or make people feel like, you know, you did something to them when you didn't do anything to them. The two of swords. The communication could be bad between you and this other person, yep. Yeah? There, there could be a Libra here, a Capricorn here, CNN. Oh, uh, Pis Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I do see a Sagittarius and a Leo here. And I do see Aquarius and an Aries. Keep going with the seven of swords. The nine of cups. I feel like it is time here, yeah, with the nine of cups. You could be dealing with somebody who got some kind of addictions or just obsession. I'm surprised I don't see the devil with all these swords. Be careful about any conflict right now here. Somebody looking at money or whatever. I don't, this person, no. Your intuition. Your intuition could be telling you, you know how your intuition will tell you to back up, back down, or don't deal with somebody or something like that. You know how you can look right through people and be like, you know, I'm not going to deal with that person. This person right here seems like weird. So you may avoid answering the phone for somebody and everything like that. Or just, you know, keep your distance from this uh, person. You know, you'll be like, you know, yeah, somebody feels stuck in another source. Okay. So your energy could be telling you that somebody here is trying to, um, wants to get close to you, but you're not sure about getting or letting this person too close to you. Here. Gaining a victory. I feel like as you could be gaining a victory, you have somebody in the Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, yeah, somebody here could be wanting to start some trouble and everything. Okay, yeah. I'm hearing lead. Okay, this is the kind of person that if you live with them or move them in and they leave some stuff at your house or something like that, they'll be like trying to make an excuse to come back to get, you know, get it or if they leave some of your car they are making an excuse for you to come back and get it and everything like that that you'll be like you know what um you'll be like they left that in your car on purpose or they left it in your house on purpose somebody purposely um could have left something to be able to get around you again or because somebody wants to be around you this clingy energy um, this kind of person can call you all the time here. I mean, you could be nice to the person and everything. You know how some people say, well, I don't judge people. Okay. But the six of swords is distant, distance and the communication could be blocked or bad or your intuition could be telling you to stay away or stay away from a certain person or that somebody is lying or you can't trust somebody because Maybe they could have just lied. Yeah, this person see you as the empress. So there's an empress sitting here, or, or the emperor. So there's some kind of distance between the emperor and the empress. But something's about the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, but this person in the Five of Pentacles here, and when I was shuffling, these cards came out. Some could be about money, finances, looking good, or whatever this person need or something. Uh, a blast from the past. Maybe you know this person or whatever. But this person can have some kind of addictions here. Whatever kind of addictions they got, I don't know. Ten of swords, but they got addictions, okay? Ten of swords. Yeah, there could be some kind of betrayal here. Okay, king of wands. Here, somebody could be watching you too. <clears throat> king of pentacles. Okay, y'all might not be on the same page financially either. You or the other person either. Somebody having troubles or something like that here. 
Okay, so yeah, so somebody see you as wish fulfillment here or the star. You could be dealing with Aquarius, then it don't have to be though. Let's keep going. Yeah, see, this person here could be selfish and everything like that to trap. Well, and then the Eight of Swords was stuck, trap. What's wrong with them? They could be mad or something like that. Maybe something told you, you know, I ain't dealing with that person or something like that here. You know, it don't even have to be about love at all, y'all. Not at all. Somebody could want you to work together with them and everything like that here. I, can't, I hear them take a trip. Go somewhere. Somebody is. Yeah, somebody could be discussing you with somebody else, though. Okay, it, it say a broken heart, but I feel like I don't feel like a broken heart. I feel like um uh, hurt, hurt. This person could be their intentions could be bad. Wait a minute, what kind of intentions they got? Yeah, the intentions could be bad here. Not so good intentions or something like that. This person needs you though, some kind of for something. Let me see. Yeah, this needy energy. Okay, this person could have lost out or lost something, possibly even money. This person showed up like a liar, a compulsive liar, or a thief, and you could be peeping them out. You're very spiritual because you got the Hierophant card that came out twice. <clears throat> you can be getting warning signs. I ain't saying just headaches, dreams, or whatever. Here, not a sword. Or, you know, you can be feeling like, you know, or seeing numbers and signs. Hold on. So this looks like a, some kind of threat. This situation is threatening. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe this person got some legal issues, needy, or something like that coming towards you. Yeah, this person see you as sweet, innocent. Nice, sweet, innocent. Next. The Ace of Swords, that's the truth then. Um, so, what's this? Why does it look threatening, this whole spread? Five of Pentacles and Broke. Somebody could be rushing in right here. Could be coming in kind of quick. Kind of real, real quick. Real quick. But something about you told you to keep your distance from this snake or something. Because it is a snake here. <clears throat> this person could be stuck or something like that. They could be mad, pissed off. But for some of y'all, it's several people who you just decided to, like, I'm not dealing with that person. I'm not dealing with that person. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. And I'm not dealing with you, okay? The Page of Swords. These people could be spying on you here. Okay? It's like you can just peep people out and see right through it, through people and everything like that. Next card. The lovers. Somebody could be a Gemini. Don't have to be. Yeah, the communication. It looks bad. It looks horrible. A lot of a lot of bad communication here. Maybe because you ain't answering your phone. I do feel like somebody could be playing on somebody's phone here. Calling with fake numbers. Um, no call ID, fake numbers. Yeah. Yeah, the communication could be bad and everything like that. Why would somebody give somebody your number? Your address? Your no ad Yeah, girl. Yeah, dude, man, woman, who I'm talking to, man or woman. Somebody could be feeling stuck, having nightmares or dreams, or you could have got some kind of warning sign, something like that. Yeah, you could have been offering love to somebody that's fake here, too. They want to speak to you. They... Hmm, look like they want to get close to you to me. But look like you got your guard up and you like, no. Okay, the communication could be blocked a bit. Yeah, your intuition could be telling you to stay to yourself right now. Period. On everything. Someone on this Knight of Swords coming in with this Queen of Pentacles with the money in their hand and everything. Yeah, I see two people sitting beside someone like, like trying to get them to do something, trying to get them to, um, what? Cooperate with them? Yeah, yeah. Somebody wants your cooperation. Somebody could be coming off nice to you. Let me let me look at this. Um, who is this? This queen of princess of cups. I see the princess of cups. 
Let me look at this princess of cups. They come out sweet to me. Somebody could be a Leo. Something about a new beginning here. Behind the scenes and everything like that, somebody could be having some kind of communication, but the communication is like somebody trying to make somebody feel sorry for them, or somebody could be wanting you to feel sorry for them, or they can come on out, they can come out sweet, but they want your attention. They're real clingy, needy ass kind of people here. Okay, in this in this reading. I see they see you as wish fulfillment here. Maybe even a star. They focus is on whatever they need. They selfish people. They think about themselves. They see you as an emperor or the empress of boss. Okay. All right. Okay. This person here, right here, yes, could be calling you, playing on your phone, or jealous of you. The Ace of Cups, talking about your, talking about your love life, whatever. Too, and or they just could be talking about your life. Who are you? I feel like you're going to catch these people or peek these people out. Maybe even call them out. And they may probably think you don't notice whatever they're doing here. Justice card. The hangman stay in the energy, not moving. Things ain't moving for them, you know. Things are, things are, things are not moving for them like it's probably moving for you. Could be some kind of tower moment coming up. I'm going to tell you that. The communication could be bad between you and this other person, though. This gossiping behind person. This person could try to make themselves look good, but but people probably can see through this person here that they're a hater or something. There's a lot of haters here. What do you want? All right. What do you want with the high priestess and the empress here? Yeah, but you're looking right through them. You can see right through them and everything like that. And I see somebody with some crazy communication. The six of ones, they want a victory. Why? I, I, it would be a victory. Look like getting close to you. The six of ones, they see you getting a victory and everything like that, but they secretly hating or they're jealous of you. Yeah, but they want to come off nice to you though. Mm -mm. Okay, these kind of people right here uh, actually want to like, um. Be nice to you, be your friend, be clingy, get mad when you don't have time to speak to them and everything like that here, you know? Um, they could probably even think that you feel like you're better than them. All right, money could be coming in slow for these people or something like that because somebody here is sending you negative energy straight up here. The judgment card. Okay, yeah. I feel like at this time here, it's like somebody trying to get some information or, or somebody wants you to know. Then they know where you at. All right. They do. Yeah, because this person got some kind of strange addiction to you. Somebody could be a Capricorn damn. <clears throat> the Eight of Pentacles. This person could be very smart, too. Like to track you, track you, follow you, track you. This person think they're being sneaky though. They think you don't know that they smart, but they, they smart. Why would this person want to get close to you? You independent and everything like that. Yeah, it's about what they need. They need something. They watching you and everything like that here. They're coming off real nice. They could be pissed at you about something though. Something that they didn't get from you. This person give you bad vibes though. You know. There's somebody you can look at sometime. You can be like, yeah, that person nice, but they give me bad vibes. I want to say use your intuition right now then. All right. I feel like this person is kind of wants something from you, but they ain't said it. This person could be like behind the scenes saying stuff like, um, saying things like, um, I don't know how to get this person to, you know, work with me. Or they could be thinking it in their head that they don't know how to get you to work with them or deal with them or trust them. Because it's all, almost like they want you to trust them to me. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't. Because there's something about you and you getting a new beginning. Maybe, maybe you just get a lot of attention anyway. And then usually when people meet you, they get real clingy and want to be around you. Here, and this person, like they want to offer something to you. Give you something. 
But you know, sometimes when people want to give you something, it's because of, uh, like, I'm going to give you this just to see if I can get something out of them. Then they might ask you for something later on. That ain't for everybody, though. That's for some people. But I feel like you got your guard up. You don't really, like, deal with people like that. Yo. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Yeah, you by yourself, you don't, you don't really. You move different. You moving different. Yeah, Three of Swords, though. Yeah. Me and Patricia, too. So what's wrong with them? This person could be like really envious looking. I mean, shoot, the way they look to me. What else? They can be envious looking. Like sometimes you can get, you can see them giving you the side eye. You know, like, like what's wrong with them? Why they ain't, you know, cooperating? They need your cooperation. You like stalkers, but it's men and women. Why the justice card hit in? The emperor, the princess of cups. Hmm. Then this person probably got some legal issues. Maybe that's why you give them the side eye. Maybe you're the one giving them the side eye. Let me see. <sighs> Let me look. Yeah. An angry energy. What that man for? They want to get close to you. They they want to cuddle you, get close to you. Yeah, they could call you when it's late or come over late. You probably avoid them or call late. You probably avoid them and won't answer the phone. All right, let me see something here. One month. This could happen in one month. Or maybe you just known this person for one month. Or maybe they got a one month. Yeah. We got a great connection. They want a great connection with you. But a connection. I feel like they want to connect with you. But I feel like they already connected with other people. And there's a lot of gossip here. What else? They want attention too. Too. It could be more than one person here. Communication is bad. We ain't on the same page. They don't fit in with you. They not like you. Yeah, trying to get with you. No, I feel like they're trying to be around you. All right. Because if this was a relationship, it's almost like you're telling somebody no because you know that this other person is already dealing with someone else. And they mad because you're telling them no because they're dealing with somebody else. They're trying to, you know, be with somebody else. But the person that they trying to be with, you ain't in competition with them. You ain't in competition with nobody. So, the catfish. Some of these folks is catfishes. Uh, look like all of them is. It could be just very few people that you can trust right now. Yeah, ignore it. You ignore somebody. Child, please. Yep, boy, please. Girl, please. You know you don't need to be around these people. You're looking at them with the side eye and everything like that, ignoring them. You're not going to give them the attention that they want you to give them. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Because this looks like this person can actually rob you, hurt you. Women and men. Like, it's almost like These people are stuck, and yeah, they see you as see you as a nerd. They see you as somebody who can help them or something. Or, but this the way this person coming towards you, they they see you as a boss. Yeah, I want to give it to you, but I feel like they want something from you. They want your attention or something that they want from you, but no. They know that you can help them, or that's what they believe. They're looking really down right now, depressed, because you're not doing whatever they want you to do or cooperating or whatever in this cooperation, in this connection. Because, see, they really want to play you, steal from you. They got some kind of weird intentions for you. 
right here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you can you you realize it. They out. I mean, you can you can peek them right out. You can peek them right out. Yeah. But this these they, they oh I saw the ass change, but they don't like to be peeped out. You looking at them like mm -mm, you look like something wrong with you. Like I know I shouldn't be getting that close to you. It's almost like you know a situation where you can be like you know. Yeah, I'll be nice to this person. I'll keep it cordial with you. But I know not to let you get too close to me because I know it could be a bad idea to get to let this kind of people get close to you. They watching you, though. And the Five of Pentacles, they feel like you left them out in the cold and everything like that. All right? I feel like they wanted to take action and, like, like connect with you, some kind of connection. They want to connect with you, for real. You ignored this connection and you just said, you know, because see, they was coming out real sweet. They're probably interested in everything about you. They're interested in everything about you. This is a trap, a rental office. Maybe they are having problems with money problems or something like that too. Somebody could be facing some kind of eviction or money problems or whatever. So this is the kind of person too, a work with other people. Be talking to other people too, plotting because they have problems and issues, like either either with money or whatever too. There could be some kind of crazy communication going on here. Completed the cycle. Yeah, you're gonna feel like you shouldn't have let this person get close to you. Yeah, yeah, I feel like somebody else involved. Hold on. Okay, I shouldn't have got my feelings involved. But this person is in their feelings because you ignored them. They can't resist trying to come to you. Maybe you just stand off to yourself and you just very quiet. Yeah, they see luck is on your side. 777, seven, seven, good luck. They see you as good luck. Like, whoo. What else? What do you want? Yeah. These people low vibrational. Yeah. Hold on. Uh-uh. Oh. This could be even like a, a situation where the person is... I'm not going to say anything really. I'm not... Shoot, I can't say I ain't going to say nothing bad about them. But... Uh, attention seeker. They feel like you left, left them out in the cold. They, they doing something. They want to speak to you. They want your opinion. They act like they want to talk to you. you they act like they're very interested in uh, everything about you. But you treat them like they don't matter or you just got to stay away from them. That phone always locked. Even in that relationship situation, you know somebody being sneaky and their phone always locked because, but it's weird, their phone locked. If, that, if your phone is locked, somebody want to go through your stuff. I mean, and I'm not going to lie. If this just a, a person on the outside and you let them in, they want to see what you got, whatever you got. You know, they want to peep you out. And look through your stuff. Because somebody want to look through somebody's stuff. Like. You don't. It say I shouldn't have got my feelings involved. But no. I shouldn't have let this person get that close to me. This person could be mad because you didn't let them get that close to you. This is the seven of swords. See. Even if they wanted something from you. Even, even if it's something real small. It's because of their intentions is to get something bigger out of you. It say this person don't like to be figured out, but I feel like you're peeping right through this person and everything like that. You can see right through them. Their eyes tell it all. Hmm. 
See these two people, they talking, but they, they're not touching each other. It's like you're getting warning signs telling you not to deal with this person. There's a crow here talking. Talk to me. She signed her name. So if this person signed their name, what she signed her name on? I dream about you. Ooh, she weird. Man or woman, somebody weird here. So they could have did something like made a contract that they can't get out of, did something they couldn't get out of, like reported to somebody about you that they shouldn't have and they regret whatever they did. Like somebody tricked them or something here. Somebody could have tricked them, asked them a lot of questions about you. And someone told too much and everything like that. So somebody did figure something out here about you. About you. It don't matter because it's almost like you observing everything and you're not going to let them get close to you. Ignored. Good. Caught on tape. I'm telling you. A thief. Somebody here is a thief. No lie now. Hold on. Let me see something. I didn't think I would miss you. You a boss. You making it complicated for them. They're waiting on you and everything like that. They just want you to give them something or give them some kind of attention or whatever they want from you. Whatever they want, but they want something. It's cheaper to deal with you or you can help them in some kind of way. Angry energy. They angry. This person right here got a bad energy. No lie. And they sending you negative energy and everything like that. They want to go through your stuff. They want to they wanna figure out something about you. Whatever it is, they must not be getting everything that they want because they look angry, but they want to get close to you. Okay, okay, um, I feel like at this time, you could be putting them on hold, like, just give me time, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna figure this out, no, because it's something you're trying to figure out, yeah, yeah, I feel like at this time here, it could be all in your head or your mind about the situation, like, somebody was like, they say, why you blaming, but hold on, because earlier I said this person could even make you feel sorry for them, like, Tell you little sad stuff about them. Something weird about this person. Straight up. Okay. Okay. They could be wanting you to do something for them too. Signs, papers. I wouldn't do nothing for this person. This could be somebody you're nice to though. But you're looking at this person like, child, please. I ain't letting you get that close to me. But they want to touch you. But you protect it so they can't. You could be getting all kind of warning signs about this person too. The seven of swords and everything like that. I don't know. Mm -mm. Hold on. Let me look. This is somebody who you can give everything to, and they still wouldn't be satisfied. I keep hearing that in my, my head. I gave my all to you. You said you never change. Or something. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got to um, stand your ground. Because I feel like you've seen this before. Stand your ground. This person could be angry or something, though. You know, this person could be f feeling some kind of entitlement, like, you know, yeah, but whatever they're doing ain't working. It ain't. Somebody did something to. What do you mean? Whatever they did, it ain't working. Yeah, because see, even if this person trying to be nice to you, you telling them no. Move on, go on, get back. See, they trying to play some kind of tricks there, catfish, they angry. <laughs> they funny. Yeah, the communication could be bad between, yeah, you ain't giving them the attention that they want. Justice, they mad about that. This person feel like things is old to them. Like, most times this tricks and stuff like this usually work on other people, but not you. Let me see these people. When they sign their name on Broken Heart. Hmm. 
There's a lot of people here. Communication can be bad too between these folks. Anyway, let me see. They could want something from you. Man or woman, even if it and, and even if it's a job, a work, because I feel like this person wants to work with you. You're looking at them like, I'm not working with you. I'm not even working with you. I can peep my I can see it ain't, you know, it would be a bit a bad idea. For real. You know, they could be coming up with some kind of plan or plot and they're working with other people. What? When you sign your name, when you sign your name on something, like a country. Because if they, if you do something that they want you to do, it can backfire or whatever, but it ain't happening because you're ignoring them. I can hear it. it. Yeah, I see it too. So you're saying it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm not. I don't got to deal with you if I want to. You know, the empress, the boss, looking at you and everything like that here. But there's a confusion with this person and commit. You know, I feel like you could have called them out and told them no, straight up no. I mean, or you gonna tell them no? Cause you finna tell somebody no here. Yeah, they mad. I ain't lying. You could be dealing with somebody real jealous of you, crazy or something. Somebody could be a counselor, don't have to be. Wait a minute now. They're repeatedly coming towards you. They very persistent here. Okay. Okay, some this person feels like they own something though. They entitled to whatever this is. It's mine. It could be mine. Let me look. They could be, this person could want to confront you or something too. Because, yeah, they in their head, they can't sleep either. Shoot. They having a burden on them. They got a problem or something like that. Controlling you or getting whatever they want to get out of you. You know? Okay, tell me more about this situation. The hangman. Um, they need to work for it or whatever that is that they need. They need to work for it. But this person here could be kind of lazy, ain't lying, or something like that. But anyway, man or woman, this person is crazy or dangerous. They could be getting frustrated, though, man or woman, with you or the other person or somebody here. You know, man or woman, seven of swords. Uh -uh. What do you want? Okay. Yeah, it could be some kind of confrontation here. This person being fake, catfish is fake. Even though I like real catfish. Um, I mean, they keep coming back towards you. They're weird. Stuck. They in a situation, that's why. This person is really confused. This is the kind of person, if you let them get a, a, too, too, too close to you. Like, for, say for instance, they could be doing bad and everything like that. They could even be losing stuff. You know, they feel like they're in a bad situation. It's desperate. This person is in desperate need to, to, um, Get whatever they need, want, but something is about the five of pentacles. They could be losing money. Yeah. So, some could be about identification too. Look at that confrontation. You ain't letting them get that close to you. I don't blame you. This person got some, I want to say, Mental problems. Ain't no doctor, but it's like this person got some mental problems. Damn. Oh, well, they very persistent, though. This person want to know a lot about you. You know, this is the kind of person that can walk up to you and say, what do you work? What do you do for work? I'm interested in you. But you drew the line of some kind of communication or separation between this person because you're looking at them funny. You know? Money is an issue. Okay, this person might ask you to do some crazy stuff. 
Like, I mean, I ain't saying it's crazy. Like, if you live in a house, can I wash my clothes at your house? You know, can I come in your house? Can I, you know, this person want to get close to you some kind of way, but they won't. But you won't let them in. I see you saying no, 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 no. I'm watching you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It's almost like even if, um, even if this was a relationship and the person could be asking you, can I, can I come over? Can I come see you and everything like that? Can I spend some time with you and everything like that? But you know that this person kind of wishy-washy or whatever. You could be like pushing them away and telling them no because and it's, or you have interruptions. Every time this person want to get close to you or whatever, something happened where there's, where there's some kind of interruption keeping you away from this certain kind of person. This is, I want to say, exposing. Some kind of exposure here. Yep. Somebody could be a Leo. Don't have to be. Anyway, let me see some. Yeah, something about this person going to expose themselves to you. Show is is the magician. Yeah. Somebody show a Gemini here. This person could want to expose themselves to you. Yeah, because I said earlier, why everybody naked? Everybody naked here. So when you being naked, you exposing yourself to somebody here. So it's something they did. Yeah, you won't let them in. Mm -hmm. It says that phone always locked. This is almost like a neighbor trying to come over and ask you crazy stuff. Or want to talk to you or want to speak to you or whatever. But you be like, um, even though they want to talk to you and speak to you, you make excuses. Like, they can't come in your house. Like, you'll be like, no, you can't come in right now. I'm getting ready to leave. I'm going to the grocery store. Then they come back with something else. This person is getting mad with you or something because you're not participating. You're not cooperating here. Man or woman. This is, okay. She's yeah, this person could want to know all kind of information about you, man or woman. Sure do look like an angry energy here. Why? They're getting aggravated with you. Because you could be telling them no. It could be some kind of tower moment. This person could want to force their way in. Force their way? A small offer. Small offers. Little small things. You know, it's almost like I don't know that person like that. I don't really. They're giving me bad vibes. This person just could give you bad vibes. Period. This person can see you as somebody different. Like, they could even be trying to read through you. Like, they see you as amazing or something. No. But they're a thief. There's something that they want. They want you to take chances with them. They want to, they probably even ask you, could you go out with them, be with them, you know? But then you might see another side to this person. This person is not right. They don't like to be figured out, but they know that you can see through them, though. They know. They nosy. Real nosy. Why they in their head? They in their head for real. I guess about how to trick you in. I see them looking like they want to just plain out ask you something or argue with you. Because if this a fake person that told somebody where you at and everything like that here, that's watching you, that's spying on you, um, they told somebody crazy something about you. Because, see, it said that this person don't like to be figured out, but I feel like you don't like people in your business or whatever, and you, you stay away from folks and stuff like that for a, re for a reason. Okay, you could have called somebody out. You could be the kind of person that be like, 
um, don't tell that person nothing about me. Don't tell that person nothing about me. I don't want that. I don't want nothing to do with that person or something like that. They outside. Look is on your side. You protected. I feel like your intuition could be protecting you. Okay, from this situation straight up. Because you're so guarded. Mm -hmm. Because you're so guarded. You know, because this person want to connect with you. We got a great connection. And I hope nobody ain't really chilling with this kind of person right here. Because it's going to backfire on them. Because they shouldn't be chilling with this kind of person right here. Because it's something going to turn out all bad with you and this person. This person. Man or woman? It almost looks like somebody want to come and live in your house. <laughs> That's what, the, or wash their clothes at your house, or visit you to take something. I mean, the seven of swords. Tell me, it's a thief. They gossip. I know they lying and everything too. This person got issues flying. Uh uh now. Nah. Uh uh. Hold up. Let me know what's up. Somebody could be wanting to speak to you real quick. Hold on. I'm here. Tiffany, Terrence, and Jermaine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make the video too long. But I need to look a little bit more. Because this person here, yeah, gossip talk, you can't trust this kind of person at all right here. Like, gone somewhere. They see you as an emperor, an empress, as a boss, and they feel like you ain't giving them the attention that they want. Like, for real. What else? Okay, Ace of Wands, no. Okay, something about a new beginning, and then I see in a whole bunch of papers here. What else? Yeah, somebody giving back and forth. Hold on. Somebody communicating a lot to somebody here. Okay, maybe because that person is sweet with them. Sweet to them. You know, it's almost like knowing you should cut somebody off and you still don't cut them off and then, then it don't turn out in your favor. Something's about control. Yeah. These people could, somebody could be working together with somebody else here, but somebody full of tricks and stuff. Yeah. And it's emperor right in this paper, but it's two candles here. Two candles here. What's up with them, that person? It's like, you so different and everything like that. You could be like, keeping these folks away from you spiritually, or you just got spiritual protection around you. Five of cups, somebody crying over spilled milk. Who that? All right, I don't want to pull too many cards. I know me, I pull a lot of their own cards. Because I see these two people here. Wait a minute, they see you as a victory. That's the truth and everything like that here. They want to work together with you, but you're not working together with them. Judgment, they're going through karma or judgment or something like that. Tempers, they angry though. About what? Must be about what they don't got. Okay? Uh-uh, they face. Mm. They could want to connect with you. I don't know. Okay, you could be getting some kind of unexpected finances, money. They thinking about money and everything like that here, but somebody could have went traveling, did something, went traveling. Like, I guess that's what it looked like to me. This other person got like problems, psychological problems or something like that here. They could be talking to somebody who you don't even deal with. You know, this is the kind of person that'll talk to people. You be like, um, I don't deal with them kind of people, or you just don't deal with the kind of pe person that's trying to speak to you. They in their head, they can't sleep about it or nothing like that here. They're getting real mad here because they're obsessed with you some kind of way. 
All right, this person see you as beautiful or different here. This person always wants your attention. They want to look for you or something like that here. But this person here could want to, um, mm -mm. they want you to let your guard down to me here to somebody see you as lucky. They see you as the Ace of Pentacles, but I feel like it's somebody who you really ain't that, that close to you. I see it. They play games and everything like that. They here, they look like they're desperate, they need it or need money. Here, they want to connect with you and everything like that. They see you as somebody independent and single or something like that. What they think you're gonna change their life, change their world, and everything like that, too. Other people know about this person, too. This person could be a little bit shady here, too. This person right here ain't right. Not at all. Okay, I feel like, you know, it's like, you know how, okay, okay, let's see it like this. You know how it's somebody who you know you shouldn't deal with, you should cut communication with, but, you know, your energy, you don't judge people or nothing, so you just let this person, you know, I guess come around you, they do come off kind of sweet or nice here, yeah. It's almost like, even if you kind of feel sorry for this person, let your guard down with this person, you'll regret it. For real, I feel like at this time here, this person right here will turn on you. No lie. For real, this person come out sweet and everything. Okay, yeah, because I see it. Man or woman, somebody could be like, you know, taking people under their wing and mess. Here, listen to their little sad stories and mess like that. Here, and, you know, and it's like they would, would like, let me try to straighten my cars up. But it's like they listen to their little sad, sad stories, connecting with this person, being nice, probably even being helpful to this person right here. These people ain't right, y'all. The seven of ones, you have to defend yourself then. Because it could be like some kind of tower moment. See, they, if you promise this kind of person something or whatever, and then you can't deliver whatever you promised to this kind of person right here, this person will do something shady to you. Like, yeah, they want to know what's up. See, this kind of person right here keep on trying to talk to you. Let me know what's up. Let me see if you can do this for me or do that for me. Or let me know what's up. You know, let me, you know, this person come come off nice and everything. Like, please, you know, like, I'm, you know, even if they did something to you, they'd be like, I'm sorry, I won't do it again or whatever. And then you trust them and everything like that. But this person is completely lying. And, it, and they is in their head and they thinking about whatever they did. But this person, the way they think is weird. Here, I mean, your energy could be telling you, you know, I shouldn't even deal with this kind of person. You being warned, you're getting so many warnings about this person that's rushing in. They could be angry and everything like that because I feel like you could have just left this person alone and everything. But this person needs you for something, but they want to disrespect you too. I mean, this person really want to disrespect you here. I feel like you know that you can don't don't supposed to be like dealing with this kind of person or you shouldn't just entertain this person at, at all. It's almost like there's somebody you know you should just separate from, you know, separate your energy from man or woman. This don't even have to be a relationship. Because, see, this person going to trick you some kind of way right here. And even if you say, yeah, I agree to let you do this and I agree, you know, this person here is the kind of person that I want what you got. They want you to let them in. They want you to. And then as soon as you let them in, they're going to um do some damage or something. I mean, this person right here is a straight up Jekyll and Hyde here. All right. Because, see, you can be very helpful to people. You can always try to do stuff, you know, for people. You're probably just good with everything, everybody here, too. But it, the plan could backfire, you know, dealing with this kind of person here. This person come out sweet. I'm telling you. This person come out sweet and everything like that here. But I do feel like you see right through this person. It's like you let them get close, but it's like your intuition tell you, you know, I got this little cup in my hand, but I ain't going to give you. I'm not, I'm watching, I'm careful about, you know, getting too close to this stranger. Like this kind of person to show you little warning signs about them anyway, but you can trust them in everything. See how I'm, man or woman, you see how motherly this person is? This this emperor is to this princess of cups. Sitting all close to them, babying them up, feeling sorry for them. Here, you know, taking care of them, doing stuff for them and everything like that. Then this person switch up. 
This person's selfish. They think about themselves and everything like that. This person can actually get violent and crazy or something. They want you to accept them. You could have started telling this person no, backing away from this energy, this, you know, this kind of energy, eight of cups, moving on. Here, you know, backing up, you know, not letting them, don't, you know, don't let them, don't let them all the way in. You know what I'm saying? This person could actually feel like you a boss. Like, they could feel like, yeah, thanks, but they actually hating on you, even though they feel like you're a boss. They hating on you. They feel like you're a boss, but they actually, you know, intimidated by you, hating on you, the fact that you got whatever they need, but they don't got it. Yeah, you all I need to get by. This person give you crazy vibes, bad energy, hard to deal with you. See, you could be making it hard. You're not crazy, so you're making it hard to... um. You know, because Eight of Swords was the first card. You know, this is set up. This is a trap. You know, there's somebody feeling stuck here, too. They want you to, you know, go into some kind of connection, contract, business with them. You ain't. You could be having warning signs about this person, too. See? This person could be coming off like they're spiritual like you, but they're really just copying you. You know, you can be really spiritual and everything. The way you act is the way they're trying to act. If if you're interested in this, they want to be interested in that. You know, they come out so sweet. They studying you. Look how they looking at you. So pretty. Man or woman. They feeling some type of way though, because you don't want to connect you know you ain't you ain't with this connection see because they got cards this half in here got cards in their hand so you don't trust the connection eight of cups you moving forward and everything like that too eight of cups you could have told them to go on somewhere you really don't do you know no See, yeah, yeah, see this person, they watching the Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning is you, and everything like that here, too. With the Ten of Cups, they coming to you, like, with a whole lot of, like, love, like, everything you love, they love, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> but ignore. I feel like you're going to ignore this person or something like that. Spy, they watching you. I ain't lying, they stalking you. I'm for real. Stalker, stalker. Your intuition ain't lying to you or nothing like that here. Let me know. Let me know what is up. They checking on you every five minutes, honey. But it ain't just one person. You know, when I had pulled the hyphen card, y'all know I double my cards. It clarified by the hyphen card, some kind of spiritual person or something like that here. They want to know what's up with you and everything like that. They peeping you out and everything. Shit, they plotting on you some kind of way. They got some kind of plan or something here. I mean, they talking and everything like that. There's somebody here that you sure can't trust. Like, you you can't trust the situation here. It's like, I, I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. Uh-uh. It could be somebody, like a mastermind behind the whole thing. Here, Eight of Cups here, yeah. And... The seven of pentacles, they could be worrying about something too. Here. Oh. Mm -mm. All right, I'll put a pentacles tarot 333. Three, three, thank you.